Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about the Kat Von D Everlasting Mini Liquid Lipstick Set. This is a set by Kat Von D that comes with eight mini liquid lipsticks. These are her Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formulas that are known for long wear, high pigment, and a matte finish. So basically it's her matte liquid lipsticks. In this kit there are six must-have shades, so six shades that already exist in the collection that are super popular, that people really enjoy, and then there are two new exclusive shades which I'm really really excited about one of them I'm wearing right now and I really like it and I hope that they come in full size cuz yeah I did purchase this off of Sephora I do believe it is on the Kat Von D website as well those are the only two places though I think that you can get Kat Von D so I will link below as well a link to where I purchased it if you want to purchase it and I did also purchase an extra one of these when I ordered this for my upcoming holiday giveaway. So one of you guys might get to win one of these. So this is the packaging that it comes in. And all the lipsticks, I, I've taken them all out, but they all just kind of are loose in there. So like you pull this part out and then they're all just kind of loose in there like that. So yeah. All right, so I am just going to jump right in and try all of these colors on. I am going to start with the one I'm wearing since I'm already wearing it. This one is called Plath. This is described as a deep russet red, and this is one of the new exclusive shades. So my understanding is that you can't purchase this shade individually yet. You can only buy it in this kit. So, hmm, I love this shade. I was wearing this in my review video for the Naked Ultimate Basics palette as well. I really really like this shade it's so pretty it's like brownish red you know it's like not a brown but it's not red it's definitely not red it's more of a brown but it's like really red I don't know it's just so pretty and it's so perfect for fall seriously obsessed with this color seriously obsessed with it I mean I would recommend this kit just for this color alone but I don't know if it's quite worth it for like a little size but I love this color so again this is plaid Okay, so this next one is called Santa Sangre Poison Apple. So that doesn't really describe the color, but I would describe this as kind of an orangey red. It's definitely uh, got that orange hint to it, but not too much. It's really wearable, and I think it's really pretty. And when I say wearable, I mean for like different skin tones, I think it would work. Uh, this will be really pretty around the holidays. That's immediately what I think of when I think of red, like even a matte red or anything. And I was putting this on and you guys these dry really quickly some matte lipsticks take forever to dry when they dry all the way down matte but these dried really quickly and I like I like that a lot one of the reasons why I always dread doing a lipstick swatch video with matte lipsticks is because for one thing they're hard to get off and for another thing they take forever to dry so the video can end up taking me a really long time but I mean these are hard to get off which is not a bad thing for a matte liquid lipstick it means they don't transfer which is good but they dry so fast I was just super impressed um, I don't have a lot of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks I have a couple so I'm not super familiar with them as I am with other brands but these dried so quickly and they are transfer proof so I just supplied this you know a couple minutes ago and I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe this off and then I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand and show you guys how they're transfer proof. Clean hand, let's do the kiss test. Wow, that's so cool. That makes me so happy. Shucks. All right, this shade is called Mother. This is described as a dusty mauve pink. I don't really see the dustiness too much. Maybe a teensy tiny little bit, but not much. To me, this is a little bit of a bright pink, but you guys let me know what you think. I do like this shade. It's pretty. Um, I don't feel like it's really an everyday shade for me. Maybe. Maybe I just need to step outside my comfort zone. I, I think it looks good with my skin tone. I don't know. I think, I think it could be doable, but I definitely don't feel like it's dusty. I definitely feel like this is more of a bright pink. Again, let me know what you guys think. Um, another thing about this formula, it's very thin, so that's probably why it dries so quickly is that it's very very thin but it also means that sometimes it can look a little bit patchy just because it doesn't cover up the pigmentation in your lips as I've mentioned in every lip swatch video I do I have very pigmented lips so with a couple of these I find that I have to double them up layer them up they do layer really really well though that's another advantage to them being a thin formula like with um, Plath that I was wearing originally in the video I think I had probably two or three layers of that on my lips just because it was showing through my lips were showing through the first layer but it layered beautifully and I thought it looked just as good as anything with multiple layers on which is really a big plus because a lot of the liquid lipsticks don't layer on themselves very well especially super matte ones so yes so again this one is called mother 
All right, this next one is really pretty. This one is called Lovesick. I actually have this in the lipstick version, so I'm familiar with the color. It's pretty much the same, I think. This is described as a mauve nude. I do agree with that. I think this is, it's a really good description because it does seem like a nude. I mean, it's so light, especially on my skin tone, that it does have sort of a, a nude effect to it, but it's definitely got that pink mauve tone to it as well. So a mauve nude is a good description of it. This, again, is called Lovesick. I really like this shade. I think this is much more of an everyday wearable shade than mother although like I said I'm excited to try that because yeah why not you guys now it's a little bit sheer so I'm gonna add a little bit more especially on my bottom lip here I'm gonna add another layer just to kind of show you how it layers just beautifully kind of deepens up the color too which is nice and it is a little bit lopsided I know I'm sorry it's probably gonna get worse just bear with me all right so this shade is called love as in l u v l dot u dot v I wonder what that stands for love is described as a rich violet this is a good description it does almost have like a neon like ultraviolet effect to it so super bright super fun I love this color I love these kinds of colors I love purples you guys probably know that I've mentioned that before <laughs> a few times uh, I always get really excited so there's a couple purples in this kit that I'm really excited about this is one of them so yay awesome again this one is called love or L-U-V I don't know wow this one is so fun this one is called backstage Bambi I feel like it should be Barbie but it's definitely Bambi kind of a Barbie shade you know this one is described as a vivid hot pink excellent description so love this shade can't wait to do a look with this because this is super fun again this is called backstage Bambi wow this one is wearing so pretty I don't feel like I've ever found a deep blue that I like the way that it wears like this one this one is called echo it is described as a satin navy blue I like this a lot I'm really excited about this this reminds me kind of of one that Too Faced has but I don't feel like the blue is as pretty as this blue so I like it I like it a lot it's kind of a purplish blue it looks kind of purplish in the two but it's really mostly blue but navy blue is a good a good way to describe it so again this one is called echo 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 all right this next shade is another one that is brand new and exclusive to this kit this one is called Roxy and it is described as a bright grape such a fun color again it's lopsided sorry but this is another one that like it's a it's a dark purple but it's still got a lot of that purple you know it doesn't just get lost in being a dark color like it has a lot of that purple which I just love I think she does a really good job with her liquid lipsticks so I kind of want to try some more I mean this is a lot but you can't have too many right all right guys that's it for this video like I said I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks I think that they are really comfortable on the lips they don't feel drying at all which is surprising I do usually put a little bit of balm on my lips before I ever put a liquid lipstick on so even if I just like put on a layer and then kind of dab it off if I don't want it to you know mess with the transfer of the lipstick like I don't want to make it so that the lipstick transfers but I just want a little bit of protection I will put a little bit of balm and I keep my lips pretty well hydrated on a daily basis basis as well so that's important to know I mean if they're drying on you maybe try to use lip balm and stuff in between more often but I still feel like these are much less drying than some other ones like Anastasia Beverly Hills and other brands that are really drying on me these are kind of a really nice medium and yet they're transfer proof which is absolutely amazing I just love knowing that I can talk and eat and everything without them transferring and I did actually eat with this on and it, it didn't transfer it didn't go anywhere now it wasn't a super greasy messy food it was just like right a rice bowl but it was really good but it was really good like that matters the lipstick stayed on really well and I was really impressed with that so just all around a great formula now this kit for $50 I think it's 49 or $50 it seems really expensive when you think about her lipsticks are I believe $20 a piece for a full size that's pretty expensive but that's not out of the range of what a lot of high-end liquid lipsticks are so each liquid lipstick in this kit has three milliliters or 0.1 fluid ounces in it and you get eight shades so I think that's a really good amount of product and I do think it's worth worth the price if you are someone who wears a lot of colors like this on a regular basis if you see most of these colors and think that they're a little bit too much for you maybe $50 is a lot of money to spend on that I would say of all of these colors the three most wearable everyday ones are mother lovesick and plath which is 
this one and these two. So Plath, Mother, and Lovesick are the most wearable everyday shades. I feel like the other ones are just bright statement. Not that you couldn't wear them every day. You totally could. You totally should if you want to. Just I don't feel like they are quite like go with everything everyday kind of a look. But I think they're really good quality shades, really good quality product, really great shade selection that she put in this kit. Really fun. I'm so glad that I bought this. I'm going to get so much use out of this. I'm really, really excited. So again, if you think that these colors are something that you're going to enjoy, I definitely do recommend this kit. I definitely give it an A+. Alright guys, that's it for this review. If I think of anything else, I will leave it in the comment section below, so make sure that you check that out. And if you have any questions on this kit, please leave that in the comment section. Did I say comment section before? I meant description box. Anyways, but if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That helps other people find me in the YouTube world. And make sure you're subscribed. I'm still doing my 5 for 5 five videos a week for five weeks. I think it's five for five. I think we like that. Do we like that? I think that's a good name for it. We'll probably have it named by the time it's over. Anyways, thank you guys for all of your support and for watching. I really appreciate you guys so very much, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!